Hello, my son. Welcome to the machine. Let's talk to Harold. Whoa! Yeah, I'd say you're down on your luck, buddy. Holy shit. Do you, do you want a hug? I need info on the death clause. And I hear you're the man. So's your face. Oh, it's the way his jaw does that thing. He's gonna live for 300 years after this. Is he literally in every Fallout game? Like He's, he's not in New Vegas, but he's in Fallout 1, 2, and 3. He'll probably be in 4. Uh, Why no, because no, in Fallout 3... Okay, you can't see it in this one, but in Fallout 2, he has a tree growing out of his head, and then by Fallout 3, he is a tree. He am Groot? Yeah, basically. If it catches up with me, I want to know what to do. Any weaknesses? Thanks. What kind of problem? No, that that's a myth. Great, thanks. Could be. So why do they pick Fallout Four to be in Boston? Use twenty dollars if you need it. What's your story? Okay. Now, this is going to seem superfluous, but this is very important to the plot of the game. Well, after the Great War, my vault was one of the first to open. It all started with the sirens. I was young, but ooh, I do remember. Cars on fire. Uh. Nobody at the wheel. you realize how old that makes you? No, I'm not gonna say that. You're old! <laughs> What's wrong with your face? Get off the screen, Grandpa! What did you do then? I was a trader. Did pretty good making the circuit between the survivors. Must have been a good people. Uh -huh. Gangs were scum. Scavengers attacking the caravans and mutants. Son of a dog if they won't spring. Where were the mutants coming from, I ask, as if this is an important question to the plot. You farted northwest? Is that an option? <laughs> yeah, I can say Click that. Click it. The Mariposa military base, which is a real thing. I thought we were talking about, like, the source from, like, New Gods. Because it was like some of them bargain shopping in mutant land. Cheaper by the dozens. Can't figure it out. Here, you need a membership card for mutant land. I feel 
bad for this guy. Yeah. So that was very important to the plot of the story. Is that like foreshadowing? We will find out the fate of Richard Gray and Mark later. Oh! Ow! And we go to the Mariposa military base. That That's how you set about. up a plot line! Yup, yup, yup. You gotta have, you have throwaway dialogue. People don't think it's important. Oh, what do you got for me? Yeah, you're right. What? What the fuck? Get out of here. Oh, yeah, death claws. I, how do I get to the death claws? Death claw, death claw. This is what I can't remember. <laughs> well, it's going to be one of those episodes, folks. Well, I'll just try talking to Beth one more time, and if that doesn't work, I'm just going to, uh, you know, go do my thing. Um... Southwest, I'm here, is an old mutant, old town, and I actually saw this thing in his lair. Um, and when I also might have information, Uncle Sloppy over in Old Town talks about Uncle who? Lives. Uncle Sloppy. Uncle Sloppy. Yeah, he's the guy who is raving insanely. Sounds like my kind of guy. That's because you are Uncle Sloppy. Oh no. <laughs> Time and space have compressed. Can you tell we're tired, folks? <laughs> Just. I want to make more coffee. This is Uncle Sloppy. But the coffee. Beth told probably me. Probably not a good idea to, to have talk to you coffee when you're tired. About the death claw. Garrett, make me coffee. Stop playing video game and make me coffee. I want to. Please? Anybody out there who's uh, listening, just send us coffee. Why are they telling me to talk to Harold again? I already did. We need to set up, like, you know, like a specific coordinate for people to rocket blast stuff to us. You know what I mean? Yeah. Actually, wait, since we're getting sucked into a black hole, wouldn't it never get closer to us? Because we're just keep drifting in for Oh, God, my brain exploded! All right, we are here. And we are going to fight some Deathclaw. Garrett, none, none of our lives make sense. No, none of our canon makes sense. It's, this whole plot doesn't make sense. It's like we're like living in some fabricated, made-up land. It's like we're living in a poorly thought-out plot line. <laughs> and we don't know how to resolve it! Uh, yeah. Oh god, yeah. what am I living for? I'll tell you what I'm living for. Shooting this fucking death claw in the face. <laughs> Things could go very bad here. I just want you to know that. What if we're not even in a spaceship, but we're in a sanitarium? What if we're just in a house in a normal like room? No, that's that's too outlandish. That's unbelievable. It's got to be either a spaceship or a sanatorium. I don't know which. It was all a dream. Biggie's dead. He can't sue us. He used to read Word Up magazine. <laughs> Yo, rest in peace, Biggie. Yeah. He sighed! I mean, yeah. Sure. You are you were born and raised in New York. Are you seriously going to say you're for the west side? I don't have a side. Yes, you do. Why? Because you're from New York. So, therefore, you're east side. I'm so fucking tired. What are we talking about right now? We're talking about oh, Biggie oh, versus Tupac. Oh, the Tupac. east side of the country. What the fuck you think I'm talking the about? east side of the island of Manhattan. No. What? Go make me coffee. I'm playing the game right now. <laughs> you can't do two things at once? No. Why did I become Snarf for a second? <laughs> Snarf! No! Snarf! You know, Deathclaw, I'm getting real sick and tired of <laughs> this shit. Why won't you die? Yeah, really. 
I got four people. We're all just plugging away. And, and a we're... dog. I was no, it's the dog is a person. <laughs> can he vote? Yeah. Awesome. It's the wasteland. Anybody can vote. What's your health at, Death Claw? Oh, not bad. Where do we? Except for Death Claw, they, they count as three fifths of a person. Too soon. Sorry, Ian. I shot you. Too soon. Uh, yeah. I mean, like. You know, I wanted to talk about something that happens in Fallout 2, but it would be way spoilery, and like, you were there when I experienced this. I don't want to ruin that for anybody. I was there when you experienced... I don't fucking know. When you're doing most of your shit, I'm ignoring you. I know. That's why, if you want my attention, you should go make me some coffee. You, you literally, literally, just today, started drinking coffee. I know. I normally don't drink coffee, but now I'm hooked. I'm tired. What can I say? And I was desperate, and I found out that caramel coffee has caffeine. Ca <laughs> not only does coffee have caffeine, but caramel coffee is is, is delicious. <laughs> it's fucking delicious. You don't need to add anything to it. It's just it's the best thing ever. We've been shooting this fucker for like a week now. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! What? Dog meat killed him. Good job, dog. Yeah, you did it, dog meat. Tycho, get up. I know you're fine. <laughs> the fuck up, Tycho! Oh my god, Tycho's dead. Wait, is he? No, Tycho, Tycho you're fine. Get up. Goddamn Tycho playing dead. Okay, I gotta talk to this guy. But first, let's level up. Yeah, I passed a hundred. We're gonna get sued. By Square Enix? <laughs> I like the emphasis that you put there. <laughs> By Square Enix? <laughs> it was so fast. My brothers were gone. Could not help. Is this that guy from earlier? Who are you? I'm... I can't remember. <sighs> Was the leader of it. Maybe my hollow disk. What? Where did you come from? We were scouting for <laughs> primes. Came from... The Northwest. What in God... <laughs> That's where they said the military base was. Who sent you? Father. Where are you, Father. Yes, master. <sighs> Alright, and I got a thing now. Let's What's the thing do? It gave me information. Status. Mutant transmission. Base, this is scavenger team two. Come in. Over. Message received. We're reading you loud and clear. Go ahead. <coughs> over. Are, are we gonna die? die? What? 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 I'm not letting you hug my face until you lay your eggs. Collected rights. four males, two females, and their supplies from the caravan. They're not too badly contaminated. Tell the lieutenant that we're sending them ahead. They might be able to survive the process. We're going to wait here for a few more days. Roger that. Were any casualties accrued during the acquisition? Negative. Another clean sweep. Base also tells Scavenger Team 1 that we've run across the same problem they had. One of our scouts did not return from his perimeter patrol. A few of our other scouts were reported that there were something big and fast near our camp last night. Copy will be awaiting your report over. The master would be very pleased. Okay then, well. Shit's getting interesting. Yeah, things are getting interesting, but uh, you know, I hate to be a cock tease and all, but uh, you guys are gonna have to wait for the next episode. I'm so gonna, I hope you don't mind, I'm gonna run to the end of this cave between episodes. You. You're just ruining the experience for yeah, all these I people. could make it there in time. Let's see if he makes it there, folks. Ah, there we go. Catch you folks later.